Hello, comrades! Welcome back to Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. My name, of course, is Obra Potato. Okay, today we're in Disneylandovsk, at least to start off with, just because it's pretty important to cover exactly how much has changed here. Uh, we are bringing in a heck of a large number of tourists now. Uh, a lot of tourists from um, from every border, from almost all of the uh, all of the almost all of the outposts, almost all of the customs houses that are dotted around the edge of the map. This, however, um, it's a slight problem. Slight, slight problem, actually. Um, and it doesn't look like there is any fuel station anywhere near here how oh, uh, really 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 <laughs> really okay well i guess we got our first little mini mission of the day just to to get this all uh, fixed up uh, probably what it's worth us doing is just doing something like this doing something like that auto purchasing fuel from the border i imagine given that it's just rubles I tell you what, we're actually going to be really cheeky as well. Instead of building like a crazy ginormous power network out here, we're literally just going to get, literally just going to get a substation right over there. We're going to build it, boom, and we're going to connect it up very, very little. And we're going to say import like the absolute minimum that is required. And to be honest, it really should not require any power at all. Maybe in the future, if I want to build uh, all of these, if I want to build all of these power pylons connecting up Disneylandovsk and uh, and Molka, Mos, Molsa, I don't know. This this little custom house here, maybe we can do that. But I mean, there doesn't really seem any point in doing that at this moment in time. Let me just manually. There we go. Set that up. Wonderful. Okay, so that's the um, that's the customs houses. That's the customs houses, well and truly, well and truly sorted. We've got plenty of fuel over here. Wonderful. Uh, we are still waiting for the construction of the runway, and then more widely than that, all of the taxiways around here. That's probably going to get done over the course of this episode. I would strongly imagine that that's going to get done over the course of this episode, which is really, really great. Uh, one of the things that I didn't sort of touch on when I built these three Leningradskia hotels. Uh, is that I should have mentioned I should have mentioned that over here we're gonna get we're gonna get a passenger we're gonna get a passenger boat stop I don't know what is it a, a, a passenger harbor I think that's the the correct term isn't it yeah cargo harbor not a cargo harbor passenger harbor passenger harbor medium right that's pretty much exactly what we're gonna get however the positioning is a little bit murky at the moment I feel like this is arguably a pretty good place for it. However, we're sort of impeded by the bridge a little bit, and this bridge is actually kind of a crucial connection. Although that being said, this bridge is honestly ripe for... It's ripe for, uh, for destruction and then reconstruction as well. So, you need a free excavator in the depot or construction office. At... Uh, Oh, I see. I've only got bulldozers that are free at the moment. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Interesting indeed. Uh, is there any... There's no free excavators? No free excavators literally at all? Okay, you know what? Well, since I'm on a little bit of a spending spree, apparently. Let's... Let's buy two more excavators. Let's buy two more excavators and then... Let's plonk this down as well. I'm mostly just doing this so that I at least have... A reminder to build uh, to build this thing also you know we're gonna try and build this manually as manually as uh, as manual can be anyway uh, so we're probably gonna want to start construction of this pretty much immediately uh, yeah but we will have to rework we will have to rework this bridge we'll do that in time I'm not particularly worried about the prospects of, uh, of, of that that's that's just fine keep going oh my really it's run out Ah, oh, it's irritating in the extreme, actually. Alright, well, that's completely fine. Uh, yeah, we're gonna want to make sure that this is connected over here. 
doesn't necessarily need to be connected up to the hotel, but it's probably good that we get the bus stop within walking distance of the passenger harbor. So that's something that we need to look for. Very, very excited that we're finally going to be, uh, we're going to be starting work on that. What else is under construction? Open storage is under construction over here. Honestly, honestly, pretty, pretty good looking, pretty good looking over here as well. That's really, really good. We've got 62 workers waiting on the platform for that the unfinished railroad is coming along nicely as well we're what about a quarter of the way through the the main section of the bridge which is which is really really good uh resources needed to finish current production uh 199 tons of brick there should indeed be 199 tons of brick within the rail construction office itself so it's just a matter of time before before that gets done uh although it is it is taking a pretty significantly long time and i wonder is it possible for us to get a no we still only have one track builder at this moment in time and it's pretty garbage uh, it builds track uh, at uh, 10 speed which is which is not very much so we might try and we might try and rectify that what else is happening we got done with all of the 21 story prefab flats apparently this one in the middle here is also done. We've zoned a brand new small cinema, which is very, very exciting. And that is hopefully going to start construction as well now. Going to make sure that we bump that up to the max. Similarly, let's make sure that that's bumped up to max. Wonderful. That's looking good too. Uh, we can probably continue construction of, um, of this school as well, but there's not really, there's not really any point in doing that. Um, at this moment in time, given that I think that we're okay for schooling, just, yeah, yeah, I think we're okay for schooling, and, you know, besides, schooling is going to be undertaken in this area. Uh, slight problem, though, unable to get food. Lots of people are unable to get food. I didn't think that that would be as much of a problem as it par apparently is. Uh, it just goes to show that, you know, sometimes... Sometimes you can do something and then just not, you know, consider the, the consequences. Well, that fix, that fixes up access and that fixes up access just fine. Wonderful. So everyone should be able to get food. Uh, schooling, though, is, is, maybe, is maybe a little bit of a problem. Although it does look like this school is within range. Almost within range of these houses over here. All right. Well, look. We'll we'll just sort of we'll just sort of roll with the punches. We'll just sort of roll with the punches. We'll see what the heck happens. Now, uh, the first thing that I did want to that I did want to properly do. So this is this is the small distribution office that distributes all of the prefab panels, all of the bricks, and all of the wooden boards to the uh, to the open storage area, literally right over here. So as soon as this. Uh, is finished, which apparently it absolutely is finished right now. We're going to set this as a another receptor to unload when storage percent is less than 90, which is great because it means that we're going to be able to backlog bricks, prefab panels, and boards in uh, in another location other than other than just that single small open storage at the border. So that is really, really good. And that means that we're going to be able to feed resources to this small open storage, uh, the small open storage area much more regularly if we set up like a small distribution office to just do deliveries between this open storage and this open storage. Makes sense, right? I think it kind of makes sense. Let's limit this a little bit. Let's reduce aluminium, reduce wood, reduce uranium oxide, and then that leaves... All of the steel, prefab panels, bricks, boards, all at 25%, which is perfect. Wonderful, 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 wonderful indeed. Uh, however, there is another side to this uh, to this organization that I'm that I'm trying to do. This small distribution office is the distribution office that currently takes the excess prefab panels, the excess bricks, and the excess boards to the border. However, you'll notice that all of the trucks are gone because they're always just super duper busy. There's always extra bricks. There's always extra prefab panels. Yeah, there's always something to be to be getting on with. So what I think that we should do is I think that we should spend a pretty significant amount of money. I know that this is maybe, you know, a, a short-term bad idea, uh, but long-term I think it's going to be a pretty good idea. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna place this down here. We're gonna spend forty-seven thousand rubles to build this. Yep, and the road as well. And then we're gonna spend 
an inordinate amount of money, an inordinate amount of money on Maz trucks in order to kit this, in order to kit this medium distribution office out, uh, and thus allow a few more trips to the border with the excess bricks, prefab panels, boards, etc. I think that that should, uh, I think that that should solve the problem for us in a uh, in a relatively in a relatively pain free manner. Uh, right, let's head over to Potato Grad just for a second. Not much to do in Potato Grad today, I don't believe. But we do need to do advanced engineering or semiconductors. Let's do semiconductors. Uh, yeah, we do need to do some more research, so we're going to get on that immediately. How's our food production looking? Our food production is looking okay. Yeah, we've actually got plenty, plenty, plenty of... Plenty of crops. I say plenty of crops. We've got enough crops for now. But to be honest, we could do with a few more workers. We could definitely do with a few more workers to, to sort of help help produce some stuff. Although it, it is almost harvesting, uh, harvesting season, or it will be harvesting season in a while. It's not harvesting season yet, but you know, we're getting there. We're getting there. So that's uh, so that's fine. Potato Grad is looking is looking okay. Pretty pretty reasonably happy with how with how it's looking. How are we doing over here? Plenty of food, plenty of alcohol, wonderful. We've built these, we've built these construction offices, we built them towards the end of the last episode so that we're able to start, hopefully, uh, operating a little bit of a local construction, a little bit of a local construction setup for Potato Grad, uh, because we're absolutely going to be uh, starting work on that at some point. Uh, Aluminov, how, how are things looking over here? Things are looking slow. Um, yeah. Things are looking... Things are looking a little tired over here. We are working on the... The train station, which is great. But it seems like almost everything else is is just sort of a little bit... Uh, a little bit lackluster. Buy two fire trucks there. Reduce the number of firefighters. Take it down to 11. Uh, yeah, I don't think that the population of... Um, of Illuminov is, is very high. Yeah, in fact, I think that it's just completely disappeared. I, I don't know whether it was... Oh my goodness, look at the number of people that we have working at the kindergarten. There we go, half that. There are no teachers, uh, workers with higher education. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. So, I, yeah, yeah. A little bit of a little bit of a death spiral for, uh, for Illuminov. But that's okay, we can actually arrest that development uh, fairly easily, in fact, by just... Uh, nabbing some workers from Turistovsky and uh, redeploying them. There we go. Wonderful. And that should be... That should be just fine, actually. That should be just fine. And that should keep the school and the kindergarten ticking over nicely. And to be honest, I think... Uh, I think we should be just fine. Let me reduce... There we go. Reduce dramatically... Reduce dramatically the number of uh, the number of people that can work in the hospital. I actually don't think that we need anywhere near the maximum number. I would rather have people heading to work at the heading to work at the the train station. So I'd rather see the train station get built up. Also, the bus platform building up the bus platform that would be that would be good. I'd rather have workers building up at the bus platform than anywhere else, frankly. And let's also reduce the number of people that can work in the shopping center. Because, again, that's not super required. That's not super required at all. We may have a capacity problem. May have a capacity problem. I'm going to choose to ignore the capacity problem. The voltage does look like it's gone a little bit crazy, a little bit haywire at the moment. But, you know, again, let's just pretend that it doesn't exist. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, everything, everything is sort of ticking over uh, in a really, really nice fashion. Krudinovsky is also fine, although the building is without a power supply. Uh... Why? Why? Is this... I bet you... I bet you anything. I bet you anything it's a... Uh, it's a worker. It's a worker issue at the coal power plant. That's what I would probably... That's what I would probably wager. Anyway, uh, financially, things are looking good as well. I'm very, very happy with the way that finances are looking. Um, what I'm really putting off... What I'm really putting off, as you can probably... As you can probably tell, is a... Is a rough planning of our steel production area. Uh, really, I mean, that is what we... That is what we need to do 
and uh, I'm just a little bit, I'm a little bit loath, I'm a little bit loath to do it, because, I mean, it is, it is oftentimes, it is oftentimes big, and it is, it is, uh, it is pretty complex, usually, when, you know, go big or go home is, uh, is what I say, but you know what, we, we, we have to do it, and, uh, and we shall indeed start work on our steel production area, so let's do that right now, whilst we're waiting for a couple of other key constructions, uh, to finish up, uh, airport, stuff like that. Right, so, uh, there's a big old, there's a big old mountain in the distance here. Where is it? Literally right here. Okay, so that, that is the location where there is supposedly a fairly rich iron ore, uh, vein? Yes, actually, yes, that is, that is very nice. Oh, that is, that is juicy, 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 indeed. Okay, well, we need a free excavator. I mean, yeah, we probably should do that. I feel like I'm gonna have to take out a loan, am I? I'm gonna have to take out a loan. I'm... I'm aware. I'm aware of the fact that I will have to take out a loan. Okay. But that'll be... That'll be fine. Let's get a construction office down here. Boom, boom. A uh, small one or a big one? I mean, look, I'm gonna end up using a big one at some point anyway, so why don't we just get a... Why don't we just get a big one in the first instance, and then we never have to worry about, uh, about upgrading. It's just that simple. And let's be honest, you know, 18,000 rubles basically costs nothing. Basically costs nothing at all. Uh, let's buy a couple of excavators, dumpers, road cranes, excavators, yep. One, two, three. And then also bulldozers. One, two, three. Nice, and then that should allow us to do a little bit of terraforming. Uh, I don't think that we should need too much terraforming, as we're hopefully just going to be able to connect up a conveyor to this, uh, to this mine, and then just sort of send everything downhill. Really? What? Free excavator? What? Uh... Maybe that'll make a difference? Maybe that'll make a difference? A uh, video game? Is that not within range? I, okay, all right. Well, you know what? I guess, I guess I'm just gonna have to spend a little, uh, spend a little cash, money that I don't really have, but I'll do it nonetheless because I wanna, I wanna get it done. All right, build that. Do not build the contract. Do not build the contract. That is absolutely not what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take out, I'm gonna take out a five-year, two million ruble loan. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. The reason why, the reason why it needs to be such a large loan is because of a couple of reasons. First and foremost, we need to get, we need to get this medium distribution office completely stocked up. And by completely stocked up, I mean fill it with the most expensive truck, I think in the game actually. Look at that. That that's like five hundred thousand rubles almost of uh, of Maz trucks right there. So let's let's still sell everything for dollars, and then we'll go here, here, and here. So unload there. Load if storage percent is above. In fact, we can just set this to above uh, eighty. There we go. Okay, so if it's above 80, we're immediately going to dispatch a truck, and then we're going to sell it on the border for dollars. Do I need dollars, or do I need rubles at a time like this? I think I actually kind of want to focus on... I think I want to focus on the... Uh, I think I want to focus on the dollars in the first instance, to be honest. Yeah, I, I do sincerely think that that is the priority, to be honest. Yeah, I, I do. I really, I really believe that. I really believe that dollars are uh, are still the priority. If we can solve the dollar problem, then we'll solve every other problem. Uh, we're missing gravel? What? How on earth are we missing gravel? Medium distribution office three? Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. So the trucks are all just busy at the moment? Now, this is a bit of an unfortunate reality. Um, because as it turns out... As it turns out, we uh, we can get a, a BZ-252 dumper. That's pretty good, I guess. There we go. We need to move a heck of a lot more gravel now, basically. Uh, and 
we're not moving it fast enough, so we need to get some more trucks. Anyway, this is all, you know, a long way of saying uh, the reason why I think that we needed to take out a 2 million, a 2 million ruble loan is because, I mean, hey, we need to buy a whole bunch of vehicles, and buying vehicles uh, are frequently uh, super duper expensive. So, uh, so there you go. That's, that's exactly what we're doing. Anyway, uh, back to, back to steel. And you might, you might find yourself, um, you might find yourself wondering, uh, Potato, why on earth do you not enjoy, you know, making, uh, making an iron processing area, making a steel processing area. Uh, no reason, really, other than the fact that I've, I've done it, like, what, 16 times now? And therefore, I'm just, like, I've just, I've just done it? I, I guess that's not really a great reason to remain unhappy about it. I'm not even unhappy about it, to be honest. I just, I want to play around with aluminium. That's really what I'm excited about, right? Like, that is, that is... That is the next big thing. Steel is old news. Aluminium is is the future. Okay. Uh, so, let's see if we can try and throw down a large aggregate storage over here. Yeah, something like... Something like this. Yeah, let's just sort of roughly plan everything out at the moment. There is a very good chance that I might not end up buying this. I might end up just letting the, the game sort of build uh, for a little bit, but I, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, also, I have installed a couple of additional conveyor towers, which, oh, look at this. This is very, very cool. So this is a brand new mod that I added, uh, and look at that. So it adds, it adds very, very small footprints conveyor towers, which I really, really like. That's actually really cool. So they're very, very high. They're very high. And look at that. Okay, that is... That is pretty incredible. And... It gives, it gives us walking points as well. Which is wonderful, because you would not believe the number of times that I've had to concern myself with... Oh, look at that. That's just so... Brilliant! That's just so brilliant. We can connect pathways up to, up to all of these. Oh man, that's that's incredible. That's really really good. And they're all elevated. There's there's like very very few issues that I've got with this. This is, in fact, pretty singularly brilliant. I'm very very happy with this. Okay, uh, next thing that we need to do is sort of find out where the workers are going to be coming from. Because believe it or not, the workers and the resources both play a very important role. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> workers and resources? Just me? Tough crowd. Okay. Yikes. Uh, yeah, we need to find out where the workers are going to be coming in. I, I honestly think that maybe a train uh, or a rail, uh, a railway is justified, perhaps. It depends, though. If we, de it depends if we can find like a like a good location. I feel like maybe here would be a good location for a train station. Let me sort of show you what I've got in mind here, right? So we'll throw down a large train platform. Probably not required, but you know something, something like this is is probably is probably workable. And then we throw down the steel mill, which is I guess the main component here. Yes. Uh, we're also gonna need we're also gonna need coal over here, which is something that I uh, absolutely did not forget about. Absolutely didn't forget that we're going to need steel, uh, coal to produce steel as well. Okay, so something like this is, is probably, is probably pretty good. And then, let's see if we can, I don't know, maybe do something like this? I know that you, you know, video game, you don't want to, you don't want to do that. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, uh, not that bothered about deleting the, the roads that I just ended up building. No, on the contrary, that's that's absolutely fine. Let's throw down a through road over here. There we go. That looks very very good. And again, this is using the brand new set of conveyors that we've got at the brand new set of conveyors that we've got installed. The brand new, the brand new conveyor towers. What's it officially called? It is called a conveyor tower. Excellent. Okay, that was not in the right place. So the angle of, or the uh, the footprint of the conveyor ended up overlapping the road, which I need to build here. 
I say I need to build. I don't really need to build a road here, but I kind of want to build a road here. Seems like a good thing to do. Right, so this can go right over there. Cool. And then we can do something else in just a second. But let's at least get this down. Nice. Okay, look at that. Footprint is so small, isn't it? Man, that's incredible. That is incredible. Uh, we should probably, you know, have a little bit of... A little bit of forethought here. And also get a tower. There we go. Also get a tower to go... Across the road for the inevitable coal storage that we're going to stick here. There we go. It's actually looking very, very, very respectable. I presume that these things can catch on fire. You know, just like, uh, just like normal. Just like normal. Uh, is there going to be an angle for this? Or are we going to have to do it in two parts? May have to do it in two parts. Uh, there we go. Okay. It's a little, it's a little funky. It's a little funky and it's all connected with footpaths, which looks really, really weird. Uh, very, very strange to me, but I mean, it works or it hopefully will work. Let's get a large aggregate storage over here. Large aggregate storage over here. We'll plonk that down over there. Looking good. And then we'll stick that over there. If, in fact, we want to upgrade this in the future, we probably we probably could do just that. It probably wouldn't be altogether too difficult to actually upgrade. Yeah, I, I think that it's probably uh, entirely possible for, up to, uh, for us to upgrade this because we could simplify both the coal and the iron input down to a single conveyor. That is possible. And then we could just have multiple steel mills across here. Either way, we're not going to need that for a... For a, for a good while. There's also the added benefit. I left a little bit of space here so that we can actually deliver resources to the steel mill via rail, if indeed we want to do that in the future. I honestly think usually one steel mill is is just fine. Also, uh, I apparently have gone a little uh, a little overdue on my old uh, my old dollars, but that's fine. Let's buy. Let's borrow. Let's borrow 100k for 0 0.5 years. Sure. I still think that we're making a profit, right? No, we're not making a profit. Are we importing a lot of dollars? A lot of dollars. Are we importing a lot of steel? Yeah, we're importing a lot of steel from um, from the West at the moment. That's that's the problem. That's the problem. I bet you, I bet you anything, it's because... It's because the hotels have advanced to, like, the second stage. It totally is. Look at that. The amount of... The amount of steel that we have... Yeah, the amount of steel that we have um, requested at the hotels is is ridiculous. It's actually super expensive. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I should probably suspend construction. If I, if I don't, then I'm just going to continue to spend money on steel. Look at look at the amount. Look, that's twenty four thousand thirty. Sorry, my bad. Thirty two thousand dollars worth of steel right there. I mean, that's why we're doing this, you know. That is exactly why we're doing this. This is why we're producing our our own steel area. Uh, boy, okay. Um, just take out more loans. Just take out more loans. 3.1%. There we go. Okay, I took out an extra three, uh, three loans. That should be enough to keep us... To keep us chill for a little while. Whether it will be or not, I guess we'll we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, I don't I don't love I don't love that I don't love that. It's a lot of it's a lot of cash to splash on uh, on building the hotels, which we're you know we're not going to see we're not going to see a, a return on on that investment for a good long time, but it will eventually be worth it. Uh, mark my words. Okay, let's continue with this area over here. Uh, we need to see we need to kit out we need to kit out this town actually we need to kit out this town. Am I that bothered about kidding it out? I mean, yes, I am. Similarly, though, I feel like maybe I shouldn't kit it out, given that we haven't actually properly started work yet. Is the construction range... The construction range covers everything here. Yeah, it'll cover, it'll cover everything here once this conveyor is actually built. 
There's a lot of stuff assigned. Okay, I think what we actually do is we straight up just build like another two huge construction offices and then we just let the let the video game start work on start work on the uh, the construction of our steel production area. Stilovsky? Stilovsky? I feel like Stilovsky is a little bit of a weak name, if you know what I mean. Okay, build that. Build that. Wonderful. And then let's see if we can try and buy a couple of, a couple of bits and bobs. So, we are going to need to get some dumpers. Eight will be fine. We're going to need to get some Maz trucks. Six will be fine. Uh, concrete mixers can go over here. Excavators. Fine. Rollers. Might get some rollers. Get four tower cranes. Get some concrete mixers. Good stuff. Twelve will be just fine. Uh, don't need personal cars. Probably don't need pavers. Might buy one paver just in case. We definitely do need buses. Very much appreciate that. We're almost certainly going to need covered hull trucks as well. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six covered hull seems reasonable to me. And then that leaves a couple of spaces. I guess we'll get a couple of buses then. Six buses? Six buses seems pretty reasonable, actually. Man, we have spent all of that two million rubles like lightning, actually. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous now that I... Uh... Now that I consider it. All right. Um, yeah. All right. Looking, looking pretty darn good. Okay, let's let's get everything assigned. Let's get everything assigned. I think I think the closest the closest storage area is technically like here. Let's assign that then, shall we? Uh, gravel. We can. Aggregate unloading, aggregate loading. Let's assign that for the gravel. Workers. Workers will be done locally. Concrete, asphalt. We can do that all the way over here. Concrete, asphalt, and that can be mechanical components and electric components. Okay. Fine. Pretty pretty comfortable with that. The only problem is, of course, that I only did that for one of the huge construction offices. I need to do it for the second one as well. Easy, easy. And easy peasy. Okay, cool. Very happy with that. Okay, so that should start work on a couple. It should start work on a couple of a couple of groundwork bits and bobs. I actually might, just to just to make this go a little bit faster, uh, given that, you know, steel is, I guess, kind of a high priority, you could say. It's, it's pretty... pretty big importance. Oh, man. Am I gonna... Okay, 14 additional dumpers. Is that enough? I feel like that's even... Even that is not enough. I feel like it's not. Either way, let's get the gravel assigned. Let's get the concrete and asphalt assigned. Right. So that's gonna... That's gonna hopefully see... That's gonna hopefully uh, make things just go a little bit quicker. As we're gonna be able to utilize... As we're gonna be able to utilize more of the trucks. There we go. Excellent. Uh, we still do need to get, like, a worker... A worker location sorted. Which... I guess for that reason, we should probably think about properly developing this area. I mean, we really should, shouldn't we? We really should properly develop this area. There really is almost no excuse. There is almost no excuse. What are we, what are we working on? Man, this is, we're just, we're, look at how many dollars we've spent. Look at how many rubles we've spent. Two million rubles this episode alone. Yikes, 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 yikes. That is ridiculous. We're waiting for concrete. Concrete is what we're waiting for, apparently. It might straight up be worth us, uh... Maybe thinking about... 
getting an alternative concrete plant over here somewhere. That might be an idea. Because we are, you know, it's taken a long, long time for us to transport concrete uh, all the way over here. Yeah, it's taken, it's taken a while. It's taken a while. We need 77 tons in uh, to finish construction of the station. So that's a bit irritating, I guess you could say. Yeah, a little bit of a problem there. Let's actually lower this to above 70%. So, if bricks are above 70%, then... Or prefab panels are above 70%, then we can we can get started on that. I, I know that we were bottlenecked a little bit in actually producing prefab panels because we didn't have any gravel in here. Uh, and therefore, we couldn't make any of the cement. So, I hope that that's been rectified now. It looks like it has been. Looks like we are making a very small amount of cement. But we're still a little bit short on gravel. We've only got 0 0.05 tons, which is, I mean, nowhere near enough. But, uh, that's being rectified slowly but surely. Slowly but surely, we're building up our cement in the dry bulk storage, which is very, very good indeed. Uh, we are out of cash again. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We have so many loans that are overdue. Let's take out a million. Let's take out a million rubles at a rate of 2.8%. Uh, it's only for half a year, though. Which almost certainly means that we're going to have to extend that uh, repayment period. With another loan. <laughs> that's, that's the thing. I was really hoping that this was the episode where we'd be able to clear all of our dollar debts. That was really what I was hoping. And thus far, that hasn't, that hasn't really happened. Uh, to be fair, though... We, we've kind of bought almost all of the steel that we really need to buy, I think. Oh my goodness, no, we haven't. Look at the next phase. Look at the next phase of construction in the Leningradsky uh, uh, Hotel. Look at that. 322 tons of steel. 322 tons of steel. That is ludicrous. That is absolutely bloomin' ludicrous. That's actually kind of crazy. Uh, and I have... I have no idea. I have no idea how we fix that. I have no idea how we fix that. That's just crazy. That is that is bananas. Um I mean we get our steel production area up and running, right? I mean that's that's all that we really need. That's all that we technically really need to to be successful, but But that's a that's a bit of an ask. That's a bit of an ask, as they say. Uh, okay, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. This is a little short term, a little short short term problem solving here. It's not gonna not gonna fix things long term for us. But we're gonna get a small distribution office down here, and then we're gonna stick two mass trucks inside. I know, I know, I shouldn't be spending cash right now, but it's fine. Also, I should I should confess, uh, things are actually completely fine. I mean, even I will buy two. Uh, even if even if things look a little bit dicey in terms of finances, we're not even scratching the surface, uh, you know, of, of where our problems sort of lie. Uh, we're going to say load if storage percent is less than 90, then dispatch, uh, dispatch a truck. Right? No? What am I, what am I, what am I missing here? Bricks, prefab panels, boards. Unload, bricks, prefab panels, boards. Yeah, less than less than 90%. Less than 90%. Okay, good. I, I knew that I was barking up the barking up the, the semi-right tree, I guess. Either way, this should hopefully uh, allow us to uh, a little bit more swiftly move resources into into the open storage. I don't know if it's really going to be altogether that useful, but uh, but I guess I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, uh, we also don't have a power supply over here, which is not the end of the world, but it's a little bit irritating. Should just mean should just mean that we that we have to spend less time. Should just mean that we have to spend less time waiting for resources to to refill this uh, this open storage area. So there we go. That's that's where we're at. How much money are we bringing in from tourists at the moment? Uh, we're bringing in like $100,000 a month and basically 100,000 rubles a month. But even with that, we are still making a colossal loss of $100,000 uh, uh, a month, which is kind of absolutely bonkers. Uh, in good news, though, we are 
constructing this hotel blisteringly quickly. I should really just suspend construction, shouldn't I? I really just should do that. I really should suspend construction. But I kind of really don't want to. Kind of really don't want to. Uh, how much... How much more... How much more effort is needed in order to get this runway done? About 2,000 rubles worth. I almost feel like it's, it's worth me just constructing... Yeah, just construct the runway for 2,000 freaking rubles, you know? Just go for it. Uh, let's ditch this beyond Soviet borders. Yep, fine. Ditch that. New stop here. New stop beyond Soviet borders. Bring back only tourists. Start. Uh, what do you mean first stop is unreachable? Oh, right, the, the runway's engaged. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, now try. It's still unreachable. Is that because there is a plane currently on the runway? It probably almost certainly is. Yeah, there's a lot of activity on the, on the runway at the moment. Yeah, there's a lot happening. There's a lot happening. We're gonna have to wait a little bit. I still think that this should work. Either way, let's get the... Let's get the aircraft copied across to here. And then we can dispatch them all at the same time. There we go. Uh, come on, we're getting there. First stop is unreachable. Come on, video game. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, whilst we're waiting for that to be, to be good... I guess maybe we need to wait until... I guess we need to maybe wait until the the uh, the aircraft has left the uh, the parking area. Don't fly on this runway. Why would you fly? Seriously, why would you fly on the big runway? Takeoff distance is two hundred and fifty meters. Hold up. How long did I make this runway? Did I? Oh no. This runway might actually need like a little runway extension. That's possible, though, right? There we go. Okay, let's just extend it to 300, 300 meters. How much is that going to cost? 14,000 rubles? Let's do that. Let's do that just to make sure that it all, it all works out. Okay, dispatch that. Excellent. Uh, we do need to build a pathway between this... Oh, look, we can get two of them off. Nice. Good stuff. Uh, we do need to get a pathway between uh, between the terminal building and also town over here. Unfortunately, it looks like I've, in classic orbital potato fashion, uh, put, this, put this terminal in quite an inconvenient location. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I take it back, actually. A very inconvenient location. Because this, yeah, this corner, even though it looks empty, is actually part of... Part of the problem. Let's pause just for a second here. Building is still in the way. I still think that there is a an angle here. Building is in the way. Really? What building is in the way? What building is in the way of this, this path here? Uh... Canada... Not sure. That works, though, so that's great. Is there gonna be... Is there gonna be enough length here in order to get to the hotels? I think there will be. I think there will be. You know what? I think there will be. Will there be enough space here to get a power pylon down? There absolutely will be. Wonderful. Good stuff. Okay, power supply has been restored. Let's have a little look at the walk distance. That's 250 meters. That's cool. Okay, so that gives us a uh, that gives us a way for tourists to get back home as well. They can either go back home via uh, they can either go back home via the bus stop or they can go back home via the aircraft, which is kind of cool. Let's also see if we can try and bring the path down here just to see if we can. I, I knew that was going to happen. Never use the bulldoze tool when a more specific demolition tool is available. It's just common sense, isn't it? Uh, yep. Fine, fine, fine. 
Right, so that might even, that might even allow access to, yep, all of the other hotels. That's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. That is cracking. Okay, we got tourists that are waiting to go. And that's excellent. I, I don't know if tourists have to pay for, uh, for aircraft, but, uh, but I sincerely hope that they do. Why on earth? Why on earth is a, a little airplane uh, departing off the big runway? All station is full or assigned to another airplane. I mean, yeah. I, that is kind of what happens, I guess, when you... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why you take off from a big old runway there. Uh, you know, made your bed now, now lie in it or, or whatever. Uh, either way, I still think I still think Disneyland Ovsk is is looking real good. I mean, we are making like a heck of a lot of money. This month seems to have been a little bit more profitable for us. Uh, last month we we lost a pretty significant amount of cash. August, however, August is is good for us. August is very very good for us. August is very very good for us. Free time, tourist spend. This is an um, uh, well. Yeah, okay, so there's a good mix. There's a good mix of Western and uh, and Soviet tourists here. Yeah, a lot of crossover, actually. A lot of crossover. It almost makes me regret just building this... Building this airport to only service small aircraft. We could maybe think about getting a slightly larger aircraft here. Uh... Nope, take it back. That's absolutely not what we can do. We can only we can only we can only use the, the, the smallest of small aircraft here because it's the only one that's capable of landing on as small of a runway uh, as as we have built for it. But that's okay. I mean that's completely fine. That's completely, completely, completely fine. Like buzzards or vultures flying over a corpse. We got all of these all of these aircraft sort of circling above Disneyland Ovsk, polluting, polluting the sky with, uh, with horrible chemical toxicants and whatnot, but that is what it is. Uh, also, apparently we were able to build this passenger harbor in, like, record time. Uh, that one kind of slipped right by me. That is, uh, incredible, actually. Very, very happy to see that. That's real good, in fact. Uh, yes, I like it a lot. That's that's excellent. Uh, okay, what else? 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 Krudinovsky. Krudinovsky's looking fine. Uh, still a little bit skeptical that people aren't just sort of bleeding away. In fact, I'm I'm certain that people are just continuing to bleed away. I I don't know why, but it's it's happening for some reason, and I I, I don't know, and I I daren't venture a guess. Uh, we are apparently managing to get through all of the research. Uh, I should have maybe stayed a little bit more on top of this whole research uh, business. But as it turns out, we're completing the research faster than I can really... Faster than I can really react to it. So, uh... I guess that means everything's good. Also, we still have some spare tractors. Oh, I see. They're growing. They're still growing. Yeah, I was a way to say we're still we're still growing in these fields, so that's why that's why we're not we're not able to harvest right now. Even though we do have, I know for a fact, yeah, extra harvesters. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting indeed. It's it's a pretty pretty important point. Let's uh in the future move more of these trucks to the distribution office. Move more trucks to the distribution office here. Uh, the reason being is that that will allow us... That will allow us to allocate more of the parking spaces. More of the parking spaces towards tractors, which is pretty important. So we've got, what, seven harvesters? Let's get a couple more tractors. One, two, three more tractors. That brings us up to 15 total total units and, uh, and should be completely fine. Okay. We're making money. We're making money. We're making big money. Very, very happy with that. Can we start thinking about getting some of these loans paid off? Not quite yet. We're almost there. I mean, the the sort of three or four loans that we took out over the course of this episode, uh, there's there's a lot to be a lot to be repaid on that front. Uh, gosh, gosh, look at that. A five point two percent rate of interest. That is 
abysmal. That is abysmal. That is a lot of a lot of loan interest that we're paying. But again, it's it's still fine. It's still completely fine. Nothing for these trucks to do. They're just happy to just sit and chill. Fine. Anyway, I just want to make sure that we're, you know, we're not wasting our harvesting season. It's pretty important that that doesn't end up happening. Uh, does look like we're building up a, a decent number of crops. But it also looks like we're moving far fewer people. It looks like we're moving far fewer people on the, on the train line in comparison to what we used to be. I suspect that that's because the vast majority of the town are now directly involved in the, uh, in the university education side of things. Look at this. We're already 25% of the way through the research. That's actually kind of bonkers. That is ridiculous, in fact. That is... That is bananas. Whereas Potato Grand used to be a small agricultural town, we've transformed it into a high-tech, uh, university-driven establishment. And uh, can I be honest? I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty pretty darn happy with that. What the heck is going on here? What the heck is going on here? Closest area that... What? What's wrong with going here? What is wrong with going here? Ore processing? Yeah. Uh... What? Why on earth is this causing a problem? Try that. No idea. No idea what's happening there. Uh, very, very strange. What the heck is happening here? Iron ore processing. It's definitely this one. Uh... Oh, I see. Hold on. It's it's prob I I see exactly what's happened here. So, I probably built the road. It it was allocated to a construction office and then subsequently I decided to build these uh, you know, admittedly very very nice conveyors and whatnot, but uh, but they of course upset they upset the uh, they upset the video game. There we go. That'll probably fix things, I imagine. Yeah, that fixes things. That fixes things perfectly. Okay, cool. That means that we're getting back on back on track. Also means that we're probably going to need to continue to buy in a little bit more steel. Because there is uh, a very, very limited amount of steel to go around. But, I mean, at the end of the day, that doesn't particularly matter. I do still need, I do still need to establish this town. Um, I also need to rename it. Steel... Steelski. I feel like Steelski is a pretty a pretty good name. And then we will have Iron X Ex Excavia. Iron Excavia, that's right. Um named after of course the iron excavation operations that are going to be happening over here. I I don't know. I I really don't as you can probably tell. Uh right. In in other news, in other news, I need to get I need to get a large aggregate storage down over here. Really? How is... How on earth do we not have a free excavator? I am very, very shocked that that is the case. Okay. No. Do... It needs to be... It needs to be oriented thusly. That's for sure. Okay. You know what? Let's do it with some... Uh, let's do it with some rubles, eh? It's only going to cost a little bit. Only going to cost a couple of thousand. Let's get it down. The beauty of this... The beauty of this... Ah, whoops. I left that on. Uh, the beauty of this is... Or beauty of this setup means that we can sort of extend it out this way if we need to. We can add more iron ore processing plants. If needs be. In an ideal world, I, I, I don't think that we do that. I... Truthfully, I, I don't actually think that we're going to need to do that. I, I suspect that we might just be able to get away with, uh, might just be able to get away with this many. But, you know, you never, you never know. Uh, yeah, sure. I think I'd probably prefer a footpath connection. A footpath connection is easier to, is easier for the firefighters to reach if it's ever, 
if it's ever on fire. Okay. And again, we just need to make sure that there is a footpath between them. Just so that no fire uh, is able to is able to spread. I must say, though, I really like these conveyor towers. They're excellent. They really are. If they work, of course. If they don't, then, you know, we're going to be... We're going to be in trouble. Uh, but pending, you know, pending approval, everything everything looks good. Okay, so that is the large aggregate storage. The big problem is now going to be, will a conveyor just connect up just like that? Wow, it actually straight up does. Um, I don't know what the max length of a conveyor actually is, but, I mean, we are, like, pretty close to it. I'm kinda, I am kind of want to test, to be honest. Too long? Yeah, like, we're we're pretty close to max length there. Too long. Okay, maybe I just absolutely lucked out. This is, again, my tests. My tests. And... Okay, so it looks like 300 meters is, is the limit. Yeah? Yeah? I mean, fine. I'm super happy that we ended up that we ended up coming in like 20 meters short. That makes me very, very happy. There we go. And let's also zone that as well. We now need to make sure that we have got a road connection over here. Uh, and also, we need to find some way to get people up here. I don't know how we're going to do that, to be honest. It's probably going to be a bus, right? <gasps> no, it's not going to be a bus. It's going to be a cable car. It's got to be a cable car. This is like the perfect opportunity for um, for a cable car, right? But, of course, we still need we still need road access because otherwise, you know, there's probably liable to be another fire or something. We don't want that to happen. Not like we really have the capability to put fires out at this moment in time. Okay, slowly but surely. There we go. We're very, very low on rubles. We've gone through an inordinate amount of cash over the course of this episode. Everything is overdue. Everything is overdue. Take out another million ruble loan. Everything is freaking overdue. Okay, this is turning into, like, an anti-pyramid scheme. Where I just end up repaying more and more cash. Uh, also, our dollars have completely... Have completely just disappeared, actually. Um, sure, we'll take out a small loan for a year. Yeah, okay. 200000 200000 dollars for like a year. Again, this is, I mean, huge financial mismanagement. Huge financial mismanagement. Uh, let's continue construction of the iron mine. And that should be automatically... Assigned to Steel Ski, Huge Construction Office 1, 2, and 3. Conveyor is looking good. We got one conveyor that was built accidentally, I assure you. Uh, let's actually zone the cable car right now because, heck yeah, I really don't get to use the, the cable car as much as I would like to. And this is really, really exciting, to be honest, to be able to, to, be able to do this. I'm still miffed that I have to use rubles for this, but, I mean, if it means... If it means actually making a little bit of progress, then that's grand. I'm going to use the big cable car, I think. I mean, look, this is a perfect place for a cable car station. But at the same time, it's also the most inappropriate place for a cable car station. What about over here? I feel like this is a pretty good place, right? I feel like this is a pretty good place if we can make it work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's within walking distance of the train station. So we have, you know, we have a delivery of workers to the train station. And then, then we go heavy, heavy cable way, I guess. Let's try and go up as high as possible. Too low. Let's actually get the road out here. Right, so probably worth us starting from the top. Can't build due to infrastructure. There is there is a there is a pathway to success here. There is a, a pathway to success. Okay, let's let's spend no 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 no. 
Let's spend rubles on terraforming, but let's not spend rubles on auto-constructing, because I'm not about that life. Not about that life, not even slightly. Uh, how do we how do we bridge this gap here? Difficultly. Difficultly? There's a building on fire. I should probably address that. It's a warehouse. It's uh it's probably gonna get extinguished. It's not gonna get extinguished. I tell you why it's not gonna get extinguished. Because it's just out of range. That is frustrating in the extreme. That is frustrating in the extreme. Uh, is there a way for us to fix this? There is. It's a little bit... It's a little bit nuclear, though. We're gonna have to demolish this road vehicle depot here. Honestly, I think... Worthy... Worthy sacrifice. There we go. Build it. Now we're able to... Now we're able to access this area. Yeah, not happy about it, but, you know, at the end of the day, we end up saving a warehouse, destroying a road vehicle depot. That's probably a fair trade. We can actually just straight up uh, queue up another road vehicle depot as well. And that will hopefully make me feel a little bit better about the fact that we had to destroy the existing one. Either way, I would expect the fire trucks to get here imminently. There we go. There we go. Wonderful. Love to see it. Love, 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 love to see it. We're making money. This month is this month is good. September is good. We actually made money last month as well. Again, very, very good. We're making a lot of dollar dues each and every month. Very, very exciting. Very, very exciting. There we go. The fire has been successfully extinguished. Excellent. Look at that. We got two we got two runways. Looking very, very fancy. One tourist was unable to get electronics. I mean, it happens. It happens. We are, like... We are full. We are full of freaking tourists. Oh, that is brilliant. That's excellent, in fact. Yeah, that's really, really good. Uh, I mean, as soon as the, the freaking Leningradskaya uh, hotel comes online, that's going to make another big old difference. Stopped. We need bricks. How on earth do we need that many bricks? We have plenty of bricks. We do have plenty of bricks. It's just taken a long time to build these hotels. And I don't know why I've decided to build three hotels at the same time. Honestly, probably one of the worst decisions that I've ever made. Uh, but, I mean, hopefully it'll... Hopefully it'll... Uh, it'll pay off, I guess. I mean, we'll have three hotels built pretty darn quickly. Right. Let's get a road connection over here. Don't know why we need a road connection over here, given that I also built this. But, I mean, we'll get it. We'll get it set up nonetheless. There we go. Looking fine. This is definitely possible. Yeah, this is definitely possible over here. I mean, honestly, as long as we build the road in small enough sort of chunks, then everything seems to be completely, completely, completely fine. The real problem with this... The real problem with this is going to be the... Is going to be the angle. The angle of the cable. Yeah, that's going to be the real problem. Uh, it's going to cost us 2,000 rubles to do this. Let's not do it. As I've already said, I'm trying not to... Trying not to spend the cash. There we go. And... Is there any chance that this is likely to work? Can't build Judah infrastructure. Can't build Judah infrastructure. It does actually look like it's not a million miles away from working. Oh, that's act. Oh, wow, that's actually really good. Uh, we can do that in one connection right there. Brilliant. Okay, well, I will... If I can find the exact spot, I will zone... Zone the building. Excellent. And then... We'll see what we can do over here. Get this connected up. Oh, this isn't even that steep. Fine. Uh, that's connected over there. We need to get this connected over here. 
I don't know why the the video game is uh, is able to handle you know super short distance high steep high steepness uh, roads, but apparently that is just the case. Uh, we are clearly starting work on some of these poles, which is really really nice. We've got the big cableway station. Is it all within within reach? It might not be within the three thousand meter reach actually. No, it's all within it's all within range. Uh, I suspect that it's just probably it's just probably the priorities at the moment. Yeah, so we're probably just gonna or the video game is probably just gonna allocate working on the nearest things for now. Uh, the heating plant in uh, in Aluminov. Uh, good time for it to happen. If this happened during winter, there there may very well be a couple of couple of deaths as a result of uh, as a result of non heating. But uh, but that hasn't actually happened, and everything is looking good. Okay, right. Well, I mean everything is coming everything is coming good slowly but surely. Uh, I mean I know that our finances are a little bit precarious, but um, I mean with the addition of the the second the second airport terminal uh things are actually looking things are actually looking pretty darn decent in disney landovsk so hopefully over the course of the next couple of episodes we're going to be able to increase our capacity thus further and uh and maybe and maybe build even more hotels certainly that's what i'm hoping to do uh, ladies and gents thank you ever so much for watching this episode of workers and resources soviet republic thank you ever so much to everyone who supports uh, over on the Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash over potato. Thanks to Banana and NSC Senpai and Aurelio for being the $325 plus tier patrons. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.